on? There we go. What fantastic music uh, to welcome us on this wonderful day. Uh, thank you so much. Um, my name is Peter Cole, and I'm the Chief Development Officer of Madison Marquette. And I'm here on behalf of Amir Hamor, uh, Madison Marquette's chairman, who couldn't be with us. Before my remarks, I want to thank a few of the city's leaders uh, who are with us, beginning with Mayor Muriel Bowser and her daughter. Um, very exciting. Deputy Mayor Brian Tanner. Uh, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. Council Member Charles Allen. And ANC Commissioner Andy Litsky. Uh, without these leaders' help, guidance, and leadership, the wharf never would have been realized. We also want to thank our partners with P.N. Hoffman, from whom you will hear later, and those who have engaged to build phase two, uh, general contractors Balfour Beatty, Donahoe Construction, and Chimbro Marine. Of course, we thank you and welcome you all in the audience. Your presence and support has been critical to the wharf's continued success. In looking around today, we see thousands of people, some here for this event and some here like any other day to enjoy the wharf, which has become Washington's great destinations. It's incredibly gratifying to see the community and city embrace the wharf. We see this when we're here every day, with or without planned events. People come here in droves to partake of the wharf, all the wharf has to offer. And for that, we're very grateful to everyone who's been such an important part of the wharf's extraordinary story. I moved to Washington in 2001 and have seen the city increasingly become bold and forward thinking. The wharf is engaged and benefited from the efforts of many of the world's finest architects, builders, and other professionals. We've also always honored our past. The wharf was once a vital port and working class neighborhood, and throughout the wharf community, you'll find important reflections of that character, found in the fish market, in our active piers, and on the parks. Phase two will certainly extend that character with landmark design and amenities. Um, and, and since uh, the beginning, uh, this partnership was committed to develop a vastly underused waterfront space and connect it to every part of the city. We strove for scale over size, and we wanted to contribute to the economic vitality and optimism that we've always believed makes Washington a compelling national and global destination. It's truly humbling to work on a project that's been as tr transformative as the wharf. Bringing the wharf vision to life took incredible forethought and commitment from world-class team, including our partners, both public and private. As we gather for this event, we rededicate ourselves to the principles we began with 13 years ago. We will respect the history with which we've been entrusted, and we will we work to seek to continue to unite and engage the community that lives, works, and plays here on the waterfront. It's this community that inspires our great architects, designers, and construction and engineering professionals to make phase two as much of a model for the 21st century urban experience as phase one has already proven to be. In closing, I hope you'll join me in celebrating the wharf as it exists today and as phase two takes shape in the days ahead. We're working together to deliver another wonderful mix of commercial, residential, hotel, retail marinas, parks, and public spaces all woven together to combine as an incredibly exciting waterfront community. I'm now very pleased to introduce our, introduce our next speaker, our own Ward 6 Council Member Charles Allen. As many of you know, Charles has pri provided public service to the district since 2003 when he directed policy for Primary Care Association. Since 2006, Charles has been an enthusiastic champion of the wharf and has fostered the development of community in this ward. So please join me in welcoming Council Member Charles Allen. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Good afternoon, everybody. Does everybody remember the, the first phase one groundbreaking and the rain and the cold? I think they dialed up a little better weather today. So it's exciting to be here with you today. Um, I was thinking back about the, the time. My daughter, Cora, is here with me as well, Ms. Mayor, so it's nice to be able to... Oh, she's coming up. Um, and so uh, you can come on up. All right. There we go. So Cora was about two last time, and so she's about six and a half now, so we're just kind of marking time as she continues to grow. And Ms. Mayor, I know you'll get the same experience with that, so it's a lot of fun. Um, but I'm proud to be here, and one of the things I'm, I'm most excited about what I've seen over this last year has really been the way in which thousands and thousands and thousands of people have interacted with and have been on our water and our river in a way that just had not been happening. 
that to me is one of the many things I'm excited about, is that when you think about the docks and the piers and all the public spaces that bring our entire city out to our water to be able to enjoy our southwest waterfront and the Washington Channel and the continued growth we're going to have around that, to recognize, as I've tried to talk about a lot, D.C. is a city on two rivers, and we are remembering that and rediscovering that. So it's really exciting time to be here. I'm excited to be here for the second phase and our celebration today. Um, I know my daughter is going to go touch as many trucks as possible in just a little bit as well, but it's very grateful. Um, and I just got to say as well, uh, Mayor, you've been fantastic. I appreciate your work on this. Our Congresswoman has been just a champion and done phenomenal work on this, as well as my colleagues on the council. So I'm grateful to be able to represent Ward 6 and represent this great neighborhood and be able to continue the hard work. And then it's nothing without our ANC commissioners. And Andy Litsky, Gail Fast, and all of ANC 6D has just been phenomenal, longtime leadership. Let's give them a big round of applause. So with that, I am uh, pleased to be able to now bring up to the stage Peter, I'm sorry, Mark Dorigan, who is the president of PN Hoffman. Mark? <laughs> Council member, thank you very much. On behalf of Monty Hoffman, our talented and hardworking PN Hoffman associates, the entire Wharf team, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out to the waterfront on this really beautiful day. We are celebrating the groundbreaking of phase two on a weekend because the wharf is so much more than just a collection of buildings. Where it demonstrates that more than having you here today, connecting with the water, with the weather, and with your families. Before we get to the fun events that our terrific wharf association team has planned for you, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a number of local dignitaries, friends, and partners that are with us here today. We mentioned the D.C. Council members and our government officials, our ANC commissioners, but also we have the teams from DEMPED here today, DCRA here today, MPD, who frankly we couldn't live without, and a personal thanks to Mr. Chopra of DCRA for all of his efforts in connection with the project. We also have our friends from the General Counsel's Office, in particular Susan Longstreet and Jennifer Castor, who has been with this project from the very beginning. We appreciate all of the efforts and, of course, the terrific wharf development and construction teams who have been here for the past 13 years and will be here for the next three years to finish out this wonderful project. We also have our local partners here, Eleanor Bacon, which is, Eleanor's here, Jeff Griffiths is here, Curtis Williams and Michael Jones, I believe, are here, and Ben Soto as well. As I mentioned, the wharf is more than a collection of buildings. As Peter had mentioned, we've provided homes and jobs to thousands, served millions of visitors to the city and the region, entertained countless numbers in our, with our buskers, our music venues, our concerts at the Anthem, and provided hundreds of events, ranging from weddings to corporate events, uh, right down to the Helen Hayes Awards. We've connected the district, the Maryland, Virginia, with our water taxi, generated tens of millions of dollars of tax revenue for the district, and have gained an international recognition that has benefited the entire DMV. Most importantly, with Phase 1, we have created a community, and that's demonstrated here today. It has connected the people of D.C. to our waterfront and is shared by everybody. Here's the amazing thing. The wharf has only been open for 400, 534 days. Seems a lot longer to those of us who have been on it for the last 13 years. But with that, there is so much more to come. With phase two, which will be about a $1.2 billion project, we will be bringing an additional hotel, which is the Pendry brand. We will be bringing additional trophy office space, and we're very pleased that our premier law firm, Williams & Connolly, a homegrown law firm, will be our lead tenant in the office space. And we're adding more home ownership, more multifamily residences, which will have significant affordable housing, and, of course, as Peter mentioned, there will be a larger marina, more docks. There will be more retail, more cafes, more restaurants. And, yes, there will be more parking. <laughs> we will be expanding our community. And that's why it's fitting today that we celebrate that expansion of community with our families and friends. There is a lot of work to do, but we're up to the challenge. Our next speaker needs no introduction. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton has championed the district throughout her storied career and has been a supporter of the wharf from its inception. 
Her leadership in executing several acts of Congress made the wharf possible. She opened up our waterways and dedicated her life to advancing the interests of district residents with the federal government. It is my great honor to present Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. Okay, DC, something big is about to happen here. Uh, and uh, it's all DC. Congress can't take this away from us, <laughs> especially since we're about to become the 51st state of the United States of America. <laughs> and I, I see the mayor down there doing what good mothers really do. You better stay with that kid <laughs> until you have to come up here. Mayor Bowser and Council Member Allen and, and ANC Commissioner Litsky, all of you who are public of, uh, elected officials, I know you join with me in saluting P.N. Hoffman. So, so sorry that Monty Hoffman had an emergency and cannot be here. They are the creators and the producers of phase one and now phase two of the wharf. And all I can say to P.N. Hoffman and your associates, you have set yourself a very high bar. It will be very, very difficult to outdo what you have already done in phase one. You have already turned the wharf, name for what it was called, when my great-grandfather was a runaway slave from Virginia uh, into a spectacular waterfront replete with everything from housing to entertainment. It is not an overstatement to say that the wharf is transforming southwest Washington. You have certainly vindicated every single hope I had <laughs> when I had to get not one bill, but two bills uh, through the Congress of the United States. Would you believe this? One for the land and one for the water. I had to get this bill through a Republican House and a Republican Senate Re several Republican committees are uh, in both houses. So you know they must have known that the wharf was something you should not say no to. The wharf um, may have been the most difficult of my economic development bills, but all I can say to P. N. Hoffman and your associates that you have taken the really hard part and, uh, and you have made it look easy. There is something in the war for everything <laughs> and everyone, including lots of permanent jobs and lots of new income for the District of Columbia through tax <laughs> revenue. At community meetings, even now, when I ask people, have any of you ever been to the wharf? wharf? I am surprised to see how many people raise their hands and say yes, and that's only phase one. They don't even know phase two is yet to come. So I'm not sure that people will believe, we, believe me when I tell them at the next community meeting, the best is yet to come. Thank you for all you're doing here today. Congresswoman, thank you very, very much. Because of the nature of a large public-private partnership like the war, for things to work, there has to be consensus building and, at times, compromise. To be successful, it needs a dedicated and seasoned local leader who can represent the community, comprehend the realities of diverging interests, and work to resolve matters for the benefit of the overall good. Andy Litsky has worked tirelessly on the front line of the wharf from its formation for over 10 years to help bring this community to life. It is my honor to present 
ANC Commissioner Andy Litsky. Thank you, Mark. Good afternoon, Mayor Bowser, uh, Deputy Mayor Kenner, um, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton, Charles, Mark, and Peter Cole, members of the Hoffman Madison team and members of the P. N. Hoffman team as well. Um, especially to all of our Southwest neighbors who have gathered here today to celebrate the beginning of the final stage of construction of the largest, most audacious, privately financed project ever built in the District of Columbia. Welcome to Southwest, home of the cherry blossoms, which are gorgeous for three weeks out of the year, and the Wharf DC, which is phenomenal 24-7 and 365. Now, to build anything in the District of Columbia is no simple prospect. If any of you have tried to remodel your bathrooms or your kitchens, it's not easy. To build the wharf, a $2 billion project on land owned and controlled by half a dozen separate entities, to run the gauntlet of scores of public meetings, no fewer than nine separate zoning commission hearings, numerous hearings before the city council, half a dozen federal agencies, boards, and commissions, and two acts of Congress. To go from initial concept and build what Monty Hoffman and his partners have envisioned uh, more than a dozen years ago on this site, to be standing here now celebrating what will ultimately lead to the completion of this vision is nothing short of miraculous. So as this project gets underway, I, I want to remind everybody this phase two project, and all, especially all of my Southwest neighbors, it's not the only thing that's going to be happening in Southwest. It is by far the largest. But when folks are concerned about the traffic, and they may be, we also have under construction, and I want to remind the district officials who are here, we have at least two lots on either side of 4th Street at our metro. We have a DC public library that's under construction or will be. We have across from that a 300 unit apartment complex with a theater, and also the redevelopment of Westminster Presbyterian Church and also the Bard at 6th and I, and also the Randall School Complex with 500 units and a theater uh, art museum. And perhaps finally, if it moves along, the redevelopment of Greenleaf Public Housing. In addition, while we may have the largest private development happening right here where we stand, we have the largest public development that's happening in the city, also in Southwest, with the redevelopment and the brand new Frederick Douglass Bridge. So there's a lot happening in our little neighborhood. What makes all of this even more special is that everything has already been built and will be built, including phase two, is not on an empty landscape, but directly adjacent to and within existing thriving neighborhood of 14,000 residents. Madam Mayor, if you want to give somebody an award for resilience, give it to the people who live in Southwest because we've been through a lot. So. So, nothing consequential happens without challenges, but this time they're going to be a little easier to surmount because we have a team that's already gone through it. I want to call out some of the Wharf team that's been working with this neighborhood for the past dozen years, and they include Wharf partner Eleanor Holmes Norton, they include, include Matt Steenhook, include Matt, um, uh, Matt Steenhook, in, include um, uh, Bob Rubin Koenig, without whom this event would not have happened, um, for sure. Um, perhaps most importantly, this is going to be experienced, everything that's happening on this wharf, and addressed more expeditiously because the lead partners in this venture and many of the ward top uh, staff live right here in Southwest now. They live at the Channel, they live at Encanto, they live at Vio, they live at 525 and at Tiber Island. They've lived at Riverside and they've lived at River Park. They shop at Safeway. They pick up their books at the Southwest Library. They shop at our hardware store. They attend jazz concerts at Westminster. They buy produce at our Saturday market, which will continue. And they walk their dogs down to the Titanic Memorial. They are no longer a they in this community. They are an us. So to you, my neighbors and friends, I can say unequivocally, if you like the first phase of the wharf, as the Congresswoman stated, you are going to love the second phase. It's spectacular. So I'll get off because the sooner we get this thing underway, 
the sooner we're going to get to enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy, very much. Of course, a project of the wharf scale has unique economic challenges. Deputy Mayor Brian Kenner has provided economic leadership in perhaps the most robust economic era in the district's history. He has been busy, to say the least. That being said, from the beginning, our collaborative relationship with the Deputy Mayor has been an essential element of the wharf's success. It's my honor to present Deputy Mayor Brian Kenner. Hello, Southwest. How are you doing? A little, little bit better. How are you doing, Southwest? How are we doing? How are we doing out here? How are we doing? How are we doing? Uh, I very much want to thank uh, all of you for being here. Again, I'm Brian Kenner. I'm the Deputy Mayor for Planning and, a and Economic Development. Uh, I'm actually here just to do a few things, and I'm going to get off the stage so we can continue to move uh, things forward. Uh, I'm going to give some thank yous first. Uh, obviously, projects like both the f uh, first phase of the wharf as well as the second phase of the wharf do not happen without lots and lots of people uh, involved. And so from the deputy mayor's team, I particularly want to thank Alex Hutchinson, Sorosho Padwala, Joe Lappin, Jen Castor, Susan Longstreet, and Kate Hardick, and Shonda Washington for all of their work to make sure that we get uh, these important projects through. I think you heard a little bit from Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes, Eleanor Holmes Norton, uh, who, again, I was actually with her yesterday uh, for another uh, project, so she keeps on making sure that district residents are first and that we get all of the neighborhood-serving amenities that we need here in the District of Columbia. Uh, Councilmember Charles Allen, uh, the entire Hoffman team, uh, as well as Madison Marquette, for making sure that this project came up uh, not only in a timely fashion but in a way uh, that continued to provide lots of benefits uh, to the immediate community and to the city, and then obviously to our mayor, uh, who has made sure that we have been focused uh, on ensuring that the project is a success. Uh, as I like to say, I have three jobs. Uh, I've got to make sure that I focus on uh, making sure the D.C. residents get jobs. I've got to be focused on tax revenue, and I've got to be focused on affordable housing. And it's projects like the Wharf, both in Phase 1 and Phase 2, uh, that make me proud. Uh, we know that there are going to be lots of both construction and permanent jobs that are going to be created from this project. We know that we are literally reclaiming land here in the District of Columbia and putting it back on the tax rolls, which contributes to the important police and health and education services that we have. And we know that this project, both in Phase 1 and Phase 2, has provided important affordable housing in a time in D.C. when we need it the most. Uh, and so it's projects like this that really enable me uh, to feel like we are making a difference in the District of Columbia. Uh, a per bit of a personal story, when I first moved to Washington, D.C., 21 years ago, uh, I lived uh, in Waterside Towers, actually right behind us over here. And I remember Southwest. I was a resident of Southwest for about five years. Uh, so I remember the original Safeway that was over there. I remember Jenny's when it was in Waterfront, Water, Waterfront Station over there. Um, but even when I, when I lived here, I very much felt like a part uh, of the Southwest community. I know how important uh, this neighborhood uh, is, not only historically to Washington, D.C., uh, but I also know how important this neighborhood thought the Wharf Project in particular was. Uh, and so I'm very happy, 21 years later, uh, to be able to be here to celebrate the second phase uh, of the Wharf and look forward to the continuing uh, benefits that the project will continue to provide to Washington, D.C. With that, thank you all very much and look forward to celebrating the opening of Wharf 2. Thank you, Brian. A public-private partnership spanning more than 15 years in duration, over $3.5 billion, relies on working together with public officials in a spirit of trust, common purpose, and dedication to the right outcome. We are fortunate to have had a mayor and have a mayor who has embraced these qualities throughout the entire duration of this development and her career in public service. We wouldn't be here today but for her efforts and dedication to this project, this community, and to our city. Mayor Bowser sees the big picture. She operates with the utmost integrity and brings people together to achieve the right outcome. She has earned the respect of her constituents, our business leaders. She is recognized nationally for leading the nation's capital to a period of sustained prosperity. And she still finds time to be an engaged new parent. 
You don't have to go to the movies to see Wonder Woman. She's right here with us. Please. The Honorable Muriel Bowser. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to our beautiful waterfront, and I am just delighted to congratulate P.N. Hoffman and team, Madison Marquette and team, and Commissioner, you're quite right. I'm most thrilled uh, to congratulate uh, the residents of Southwest. Give yourselves a round of applause. Uh, I was just thinking back, and I, I had this experience with the Congresswoman yesterday. I just congratulated her on being able to look across the District of Columbia and see projects that will live for 50 years, 75 years, 100 years, and put D.C. residents to work, give D.C. residents a new place to live, and indeed enliven our two rivers. So congratulations to you once again, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. I think we, we owe her a tremendous debt. Uh, in having been able to reclaim so much land in our, uh, in our jurisdiction that is decided by the residents of, District of, of the District of Columbia how we will use it, and we focus on putting our residents to work. So this project has indeed uh, spanned many, many years. I joined the council at about the same time this, this project was being born, and I'm just so grateful to be able to lead the city now when we are delivering on phase one and phase two. People come to the district. They see the amount of vitality in our city and the projects that we are working on, and it is the most vibrant city economy anywhere on the East Coast, and I dare say in the United States of America. And we can be proud because residents have worked with officials in the private sector to deliver projects like this. So I know that I, uh, council member, in between the truck touch and the sandbox, uh, so now it's time to celebrate the beginning of phase two. Congratulations, everybody. And if we can, we're going to start the parade and start the festivities. Thank you very much for everybody for coming.